malara area kwa chia wall rangwe sub county koma bay county now i make bio i make with uh, organic fertilizer from bio slurry and uh, now i'll take you through the process of making fertilizer from bio slurry now fertilizer made from bio slurry is very good as compared to the synthet synthetic fertilizer because as you know these days farming is now leaning towards organic uh, farming and this one there is no additive is not synthetic now once the process of uh, of biogas is through then we have got the mains or the byproduct which is the bio slurry now this bio slurry i do collect it and uh, make sure it is dried under shade why do i have to dry it under shade because if you dry it in the sun the sun will make it lose some of the, the most important nutrients and that is why i do collect them just outside here under the shade and let it dry slowly under the shade now once it is dry once the water is completely out of the bio slurry as i bring the bio slurry there i do add other fertilizers or other plants that make it more rich as we know i use uh, tithonia tithonia is a, a very good plant that can also be used just a fertilizer as it is and so when i add it to the bio slurry it makes my fertilizer very rich and especially for farmers who are doing vegetable farming it's no it's very rich in nitrogen and you, as you can see from the pictures the plants are dark green in color that is as a result of the tithonia that i add to the bio slurry and they will uh, they will dry together so this is how i do it i collect the bio slurry and put it under the shade i will put one layer once i have a layer that i will put there i will bring the tithonia leaves and the seeds and put another layer so it is a layer after layer layer after layer and then leave it to rot for some time once it rots the the the, the once the bio slurry is drying the tithonia will rot and after some time i'll keep on turning turning until the bio slurry is completely dry once it is completely dry then i will now get to the point of where i have to make it uh, into granules now while i'm doing that i don't have to make it so soft because when it is too soft then it will just um it will just go okay when it rains it will leach and go away but we want to retain these nutrients so i normally just use the uh the normal method i don't have a mechanized method but i'll show you how i normally do it